Okay, for the last couple of weeks, I've been uh, playing with some fly traps, having a lot of fun, and uh, I thought I would uh, share with folks my my findings. The heart of my fly trap is a little entrance tube, it's about a, a one inch tube over here, about three inches long, and the whole heart of this thing is that flies, when they go in the tube, if they can see daylight at the, the other end of the tunnel, they'll eventually work their way towards that daylight. If they turn around and look behind them and everything's black, the dark, they won't go that way. So in order to to make light in one direction and darkness in another, I painted the, everything underneath here black and I painted the top of this black and I put an umbrella up here so that this, the light doesn't shine uh, down the, the tube in that direction. So from the inside looking out, it looks like a black hole and flies don't go that way. They'll just go towards the light. I started out with this, uh, about three of these things using different sized tubes. Uh, started with a 3 8 inch copper uh, pipe tube and a half inch uh, PEX tube and then uh, at the ones that shown over here, about an inch and an eighth uh, a piece of uh, aluminum off of a small aerosol container. <clears throat> so uh, one of the things that the, the flies were telling me is they ignored the small uh, three-eighths and half-inch tubes and they just started filling up the, the, the jar with the, uh, the large tubes. So, Right now I've, I've gone to all large tubes. They're like an inch in diameter and three inches long. Uh, I heat one in with a torch, melt a little hole so that I can uh, just press the tube uh, in the, the hole in the plastic top. The flies, uh, psychology generally, you can see some over here. On, they'll go to the, the, the top wander into this space there. They'll wander around the uh, entrance tube and look at it, inspect it. Sometimes they'll stick their nose in there, even go in there for a little while and come back out. And they'll, they'll spend some time nosing around the, the entrance. Eventually, they usually will walk down the tube and get to the bottom of the tube where they can uh, sense that they can fly fly off or uh, or whatever. <clears throat> so once they detach themselves from the tube when they go in, I've never seen a fly find its way out. So it's, it's a, like a, a check valve for flies. This thing, they'll go in, but they, they cannot find their way out. To get out, they're always flying towards the light, towards the outside of the jar. <clears throat> um, the uh, bait is, is uh, is just decayed meat, scraps, leftover table scraps to start with. Uh, I put in a few uh, mice from a mouse trap in there. They seem to like that. Uh, I think raw meat would be better than some of what I've been using. But uh, the, the more rotten the meat gets, the better the soup and the better the perfume coming off the soup and uh, the more the flies like it. So I see some flies over here and let's see what they're going to do. One of them just went in the tube and I'm looking at the bottom of the tube and it's hard to see with all those flies in there. He might just flew out. Oh, now there he comes. So anyway he uh, he just went in the tube, went through the tube and uh, he's now part of the, the congregation in, uh, in the trap. Uh, here comes another fly up there. You can see him on the left. And uh, for some reason, that particular trap is attracting more flies than the other flies. And I think it has a little bit of a, a stronger odor to it uh, from whatever I put in it. Okay, we got a fly in that, the trap to the left. He's waltzing around the top of the tube, which they almost always do. They go around it, spend a little time in it. Now he just went in the tube. Uh, I don't know whether he flew through or yeah, usually they, they want to walk down the tube. 
for a while. It takes a few minutes. You'll see them emerge on the bottom. The bottom, yep, there they are. He's uh, they're walking around the edge of the tube for a while. So finally, they'll let go and try to fly towards the daylight, and they'll never go back in the, inside the tube again. It's just that dark hole. There's no nothing there for them to go to. As far as the bait for the trap, uh, I always started out using just table scraps of meat and put them in there and after about three days they begin to get ripe enough that the flies are attracted to them. Uh, the more ripe they get the better the flies seem to like it and go to it. So I've never taken anything out of the tra trap. I just uh, add a little bit now and then to, uh, to replenish the is the soup that's in there. Uh, last time I uh, was at Costco we had a rotisserie chicken and I used the, the what was left from the chicken to uh, uh, to feed the traps. Uh, also uh, clean the mouse traps off. I think that the, uh, the mice are coming out of the mouse traps uh, are something that the flies like too. So uh, probably live meat is better. Neighbor said he saw a fish the other day uh, in the yard and it was just loaded with flies, so I need to go down to the lake and find a, a fish and, and try putting a fish in there and see how that attracts the, uh, the flies.